challenges that are related to our environment, our energy supplies, and our health care. This is the context in which we live today. And what happens in our schools among learners and educators matters not just to the Department of Education, but to all who are here present tonight and to the entire nation. In order for us as individuals, schools, learners, or educators to excel, we all have to embrace the spirit of excellency in all our undertakings. What is excellence? The word excellence comes from the root word excel, which means to be exceptionally good at or proficient in an activity or subject. It is from this root word that I will try to offer to you the way to receive the spirit of excellence by looking at the acronym of Excel. And let's start in with the letter E. It means at least help. Even God, after creating man, and the Bible tells us that he found out that it was not good for man to be alone. If we are going to you know, continue to demonstrate excellence, we all learn, have to learn to enlist help in every stage of our lives. Amen. Recognize the benefits of enlisting and offering help. The word X stands for extra questions. Those who ask questions never lack answers in life. Let us embrace that principles of always asking questions when necessary, not to be shy. The word C means close the case on problem areas. I know that many of us like me are naturally allergic to problems. Let me talk to the folks this side, this side. People are too quiet for me, let me talk to this side. <laughs> How many of you are allergic to problems You don't like problems in life? Okay. Now, problems are part of living. Without problems, we cannot live. You only excel in life when you solve problems. You get paid in life only when you solve problems. So let us close the case on problem areas by recognizing the value of anticipating potential problems before they occur. The word E stands for empower yourself. This is the time that is changing. Times and lives are changing. We cannot continue to be on the same page. If every one of us here tonight will learn to empower ourselves and recognize that the, the powerful impact that you and me can have on the learners and on society, we should all appreciate the, you know, the need to empower ourselves. The last word is learn to be flexible. Let us recognize flexibility is a powerful concept in achieving service excellence. Remember also that excellence only thrives in the atmosphere of peace. Therefore, endeavor at all times to be at peace with yourself and with others. The word peace actually means pursue excellence and cherish everyone. In conclusion, to improve the quality of our education, we need to continue with the pursuit of excellence and study what other countries did that made a positive difference in their educational system and remodel it to suit our own system and adopt internationally benchmarked standards and assessment as a framework within which we can prepare students for success in colleges and in the workplace. We need to continue to recruit, develop, reward, retain effective teachers 
and principles. We have to continue to build data systems that measure student success and inform teachers and principals how they can improve their practices and turn around their lowest performing schools. The world today is a global village. If we must make education the foundation of our future, if we must create knowledge-based economy, that we must, then we must orient ourselves with what other countries have done to be the global standard. We must make a quantum leap in restructuring our educational system from being a mere box for students gathering to the citadel of innovations and value. As drivers of the South African future economy, we are not only competing with the blue waters of our national sea, but against the global ocean current. We must pursue excellence in all our ways. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you.